let's go for a ride! You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today! Cycle Cruiser videos brought to you at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You know, for those of you that are considering uh, powder coating your wheels, let me explain the hassles involved. If you don't know already, this is for the newbies out there that maybe want to change a color scheme on your bike or something and, and uh, you want to powder coat those wheels. Let me tell you the process. First off, you have to have a shop remove the uh, the bearings you definitely you could do it yourself but you risk damaging your rim in my opinion it's best to let the professionals do it so you don't fuck it up the last thing you want to do is, is fuck up the internal of the wheel and then next thing you know you have some issues where the wheels not not rolling straight and if you're hauling ass out here that could set you up for a real fucked up day so take it to the shop if you don't know what you're doing take it to the shop have them remove the bearings um, and then you gotta uh, you gotta take the rim to the place to get powder coated and generally it's gonna run you anywhere from a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars a wheel sometimes you can get it cheaper but be careful because there's people out there that do powder coating shit jobs and the last thing you want to do is uh, disrupt the integrity of the wheel with some shitty powder coating job. You pay for what you get. So be willing to pay extra to get a good job. Uh, but generally it's about $100 a wheel. So that's $200 to, to get the bearings removed from your wheels, front and rear. A lot of times they will charge one hour labor for each wheel which is pretty fucked up because they could probably knock both wheels out in an hour. So generally the shop's charge could charge anywhere from $60 to $100 an hour. So that could be literally up to $200 just to remove the freaking bearings out of both wheels. Plus the powder coating, which the powder coating $100 a wheel. So you're looking at a possibility of $400 right there. But then once it's done powder coating, you got to take it back to the shop and have them put in new bearings. They have a machine that presses them in. If you want it done right, that is. And that could be another two hours labor, up to $200 extra. So you're at $600 for powder coating your rims. That's about probably the max that you'll probably be charged. A lot of you guys could probably get it for a lot less. Uh, but generally, I'm just giving you a general idea of what, what the cost can be. $600 to just change the color on some fucking rims. Which makes no sense to me. That's why I actually went with the Honda Repsol wheels. I got a sick deal on it, by the way. Like $1,000 uh, shipped. I got a special sale on them. Both of them for $1,000 shipped. And uh, had I got the Chinese wheels, which are $500, and then had to do all the powder coating shit, you know, take the bearings out, put, you know, powder coat, put the bearings back in, that would have been at least another five, $600 right there. So that would have been the same price as what I paid for these Honda Repsol wheels. And I, and I have the OEM uh, powder coating job. I don't, you know, I, I know my powder coating job is done right because it's 100% OEM directly made from uh, from fucking Japan so that's why I skipped the Chinese wheels you know I'm still not I still think the Chinese wheels are not as bad as like some people are, are saying yeah, a lot of times you'd be surprised these wheels are actually manufactured in the same shop as the OEM wheels sometimes not always uh, but like some people say is it worth risking your life you know taking that chance just to save a few hundred dollars is your life worth just saving a few hundred dollars I mean <laughs> go ahead and pay the extra money to have that peace of mind you know so that's why I was uh, it just was a 
a no-brainer to get the uh, the OEM Repsol wheels. And I think the white and orange is going to look absolutely sick on my bike. I'm going to have the pearl white fairings, the orange wheels, and the, uh, then I'm going to have some orange, you know, the orange rear sets, orange levers. It's going to look sick. You know, it's just nice to change up, you know, every now and then. I feel like I got a new bike or something, man. <laughs> Instead of getting a new bike, because I, I can't see getting another bike, really, man. This bike is just freaking amazing. Look at this. Drop a gear, disappear, baby. Drop a gear, fucking disappear. This bike just is awesome. For just street riding out here, it, it makes absolutely no fucking sense for me to get something like a BMW S1000 double R or something. It makes no fucking sense. This bike is already too fast for the streets as it is. I was happy on my 600 double R, man. And what the fuck, what? This dude trying to pass me, man? Trying to challenge me? Goodbye. <laughs> Alright, he don't give a fuck. I'm just fucking around out here. But yeah, guys, you may want to think twice about powder coating your wheels. Are you really going to get a value for an extra $600? Just, I don't know. It may be worth it for you guys because I know, you know, it does look awesome changing colors. But uh, you may want to factor in, maybe you can get some OEM wheels in a different color as well. So, uh, you know, like say the FZ09, they have the high-vis wheels on the, the new color schemes for the 2016. So if you got the old 2015, some black wheels or something, and you want to put the high-vis wheels, just get you a set of the OEM uh, FZ09 wheels. And uh, I don't know how expensive they are or not. A lot of times you can get a deal like I did, just do some research. Uh, by the way, if you want to get those Honda Repsol whip rims that I bought, I'll include a link in the description and comment section of this video. That's for the, the 2012 through 2014 CDR 1000 RR. But hey guys, that's all I have for you. Man, these roads are shitty, man. All these fucking tar patches. Shit. Sucks, man. But, if you want to see more of my videos, go to my website, cyclecruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, my video. Uh, um, all of my videos are categorized into various playlists. Hopefully you can find something that will inform you or entertain you. Hey, subscribe to my All in One Motorcycle channel. Hit thumbs up if you like this video. Share this video with your friends and let them know the cost. And not only the cost, the time it takes to deal that. But anyways, that's all I have for you guys. So until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Deuces. Check out my other channel, Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlogs, where I discuss anything and everything, not just motorcycle shit.